Hi, it's Kirk from WP Apprentice. I get a ton of questions from members asking how they can make their WordPress website more secure. Now, I believe the first step to securing your site is preventing the wrong people from logging in. And a strong password is the best way to prevent that from happening. But adding two-factor authentication to your website is even better. You may already be using two-factor with your banking website or possibly with Gmail or some other online service. Today, I'm going to show you how to bring that same level of security to your WordPress website. Now, before jumping in, let me explain what two-factor authentication is. Two-factor adds an additional code to the authentication process. So when you log in, you have a password. That's one factor. With two-factor, you have an additional code beside your password. It's a temporary code that's usually time-limited. That code usually expires in 60 seconds or less. So even if someone manages to steal your password, they won't have access to that second code. And the plugin I'm going to use to make this possible with my WordPress site is this plugin called Two Factor. This is in the WordPress plugin directory. Let's jump into WordPress. I'll show you how to set this up. So I've logged into my WordPress website, and as you can see, I have installed that Two Factor plugin. And so that's active on my site now. You won't find anything in the admin menus referring to Two Factor. So don't go searching for some sort of uh, admin page. Uh, you won't find it. You will find it on the individual user pages. So you have to do this on a user by user level. You can't go ahead and force your individual users. If you have a multi-user website, you can't force people to use the two factor. Uh, but certainly if you have, if you're the administrator of your site, you want to secure that account to the best of your abilities. And so that's where you can use two factor. I'm going to go to users and your profile. And so this is my profile because I'm the logged in user and I'm going to scroll down and you will see near the bottom of my profile page, I've got a new section called two factor options. And the way this works is there are a number of different ways that you can get that special time limited code. Probably the easiest is to get it by email. So you can have it sent to you every single time that uh, you try to log into your website, you'll get that two-factor code sent to your email. You have to go to your email box, grab that two-factor code, and then plug that into the next page on the login. Uh, you can also use these uh, applications that will generate a two-factor code. Google Authenticator is probably the most popular. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and enable that version as well to show you how to set this up because this can be a good option. You may not have access to an email box or you may not want it sent to your email box. This Google Authenticator method is actually uh, a little bit more secure. So the way this works is uh, to enable this Google Authenticator app, you need to scan this QR code that you see when you click on View Options. Now, I'm actually going to use the Google Authenticator QR code with my password manager, which is installed in my browser, and I've already got an entry for this website. So I'm going to go ahead and click Edit. This is 1Password. And uh, the way it works in 1Password is I have to create a new field. And I create a new field by clicking this ellipses button and choosing 1Time Password. And then I get a new icon that looks like a QR code. When I click that, that pulls up a QR code scanner. And I scan that code and then save my entry here. And you see there's my six digit code. It's already being generated. As soon as I scan the QR code, one password immediately starts generating the six digit code. Uh, the app here to make sure, the plugin to make sure that I don't accidentally lock myself out of my website, wants me to enter this six digit code into this box below the QR code to, to verify that I properly scanned it. Uh, the QR code this uh, time-based one-time password with Google Authenticator option will not be activated until I enter the correct code in this box. Now, there's another way to do this. If you're not using a program like 1Password, you can use a mobile application uh, and scan it on your phone, on your Android phone or your iPhone. Let's switch over to my mobile view, and I'll show you how to do this with uh, a smartphone app. So you can see I've installed the Google Authenticator app. You can find that in your app store. And when I tap that open, uh, this is the home screen. I haven't set up any uh, authentication codes yet, but I'm going to begin the setup. And when I do that, it is going to ask me 
uh, how I want to uh, acquire this code, I'm gonna scan the barcode. That's the QR code that's on my screen. So I'm gonna tap that, and that opens up my camera and uh, then scans the code, and I immediately have this six-digit QR code. And this then gets generated uh, every time I scan a code. So I could use the same application uh, for uh, multiple websites and scan the code. And then I'm going to have a separate entry for each website here in the Authenticator app. And anytime I log in somewhere that requires uh, a two-factor authentication, I can open this app and immediately get that six-digit code and then quickly type that into my browser. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the setup process, and then we can go ahead and log in with our two-factor code. So I still need to enter that authentication, the current authentication code down there to verify that I've scanned this properly. But before I do that, I want to point out this uh, one option. You definitely want to check backup verification codes. Uh, these are codes you can use if for some reason you lose access to your two-factor key, your app is not working right, or you delete it by mistake. Uh, you can generate these codes and then just click download these codes and you'll get a text file. You want to save that someplace secure. If for some reason you can't generate a code, any one of these codes can be used in the case of an emergency. Uh, so make sure you do that. And so you want to click the checkbox enable next to any of the different methods you want to use to get a code uh, when you log into your website. So I'm going to now just copy this uh, current two-factor code into the authentication code box. And I'm gonna go ahead and save my settings. And that will update my profile and it will use two-factor when I go to log into the website. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log out here. And I'm logged out, I'm at the login page. And you see there's no hint that I'm using two-factor uh, on this website until I go ahead and enter my username and password and click login. And then at that point, I get a second screen where it asks me for my authentication code. And I'm gonna go ahead and use 1Password and I can just copy that code and paste that in to the authentication code box and click the button and then I'm in. And just that easily, I've enabled two-factor authentication on my website the same way they do on my banking website. My WordPress login is just as secure now. And so that's how you set up two-factor authentication on your WordPress website, another way to secure WordPress.